Hello and welcome to Become the Teapot. I'm Ian. And so am I. That's right, I'm back after a short break. <clears throat> Six weeks. This episode, we'll be discussing something Ian hasn't watched before, and I haven't read before. I gave him the task of watching the first six episodes of Arrow, season one, and he gave me the task of reading Green Arrow, year one, by Andy Diggle and Jock. The show debuted in 2012, and somehow he's managed to go this long without watching a full episode, or any of its many, many spin-offs. What will his opinions be? Will he be a keen arrow, or a mean arrow? Let's find out. Shall we get it over with, shall we? Go on, cue my classic theme tune. Ian's, Ian's egg hunt. Ian's, Ian's egg hunt. Ian's, Ian's egg hunt. I'm not yoking you. So, ironically, Ian, you weren't here for Easter. <laughs> I didn't even realise. But you brought the eggs with you. So what have you got for us this episode? <laughs> so I try to pick out small things that people might not have seen. But right at the start of the pilot, there is literally a big slap in the face Easter egg. Mm-hmm. Literally, you see Deathstroke's mask, his orange and black mask, just on the side right in front of you at the start of the episode, which... Yeah, it's an Easter egg, but it's a pretty obvious one. (laughs) It's just right there. (laughs) You also see him about four episodes in, don't you? Four or five episodes in. So yeah, Easter egg, foreshadowing. Whatever it is, you're a fan of it. (laughs) And we mentioned John Diggle earlier on. Yes. He was named in honour of the series author Andy Diggle. But if you look at Deadshot's tattoos in the mirror, you can see Andy Diggle is on his chest, which is John's brother. Yeah, I think he mentions him to his sister at some point, doesn't he? He says about his brother yeah. Andy. Yeah, so named after the writer of the comic book that we read. Yes, exactly. And this is because Deadshot tattoos all of the names of the people he's killed. Kind of like a, a weird blend of Victor Zaz and the guy from Memento. Yeah, except it makes it really easy for the police to convict you when they finally catch you. <laughs> yeah. Full confession all over your body, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't me. At least with a tally mark, you can just say, oh, yeah, so I remember how many peanuts I've eaten or whatever <laughs> it is. And here's one that I think is a little bit of a hidden away Easter egg. Mm-hmm. So when Oliver's arrested in episode five, in his mugshot, his prisoner code, if you will, was 73 one nine four one right and green arrow's first appearance was an issue 73 in 1941 okay well that's a pretty good one yeah it was a comic called more fun comics (laughs) i love the names of old comics (laughs) that's what it's called and also in the same episode when he's talking to laurel in um, his bedroom she says something like oh can you remember the last time i was here and they went oh yeah it was a halloween party and you were wearing those fishnet stockings which i would say that's a reference to black canary's classic costume from the comic yes yes definitely Uh, nothing else to say about that one yeah that's right yes (laughs) yes that's true and you mentioned a while ago in our scott pilgrim episodes about the castle that was used that was then also used in x-men hmm the castle that they, they used in this for the Queen Mansion is Hartley Castle, which that's also been used in various TV and films. It was used as Luther's mansion in Smallville. Right. And the exterior was used for the X Mansion in X2, 3, and in Deadpool 1 and 2. Okay. So it's got some superhero pedigree and another connection to Smallville. Yeah. <laughs> and then, not so much an Easter egg, more a fun fact. Okay. <laughs> Stephen Amell did most of his own stunts in the earlier seasons. Mm. And the pull-up bar that he used in his like hideout is called a salmon ladder. Right, a Colin salmon ladder. <laughs> I, I understood that reference. But that was made popular in uh, Ninja Warrior, which Stephen himself actually went on that show right. years later for charity, which it's very, very impressive, actually. I would recommend watching it. Okay. Right, so he can do all that stuff in real life. I mean, he's, he's obviously in good shape. Well, yeah. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, I might look at it. I might not. I've never watched Ninja Warrior, I'll be honest. But yeah, there you go. That's my first Easter eggs back. Yeah, well worth the wait. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad you're back with your Easter eggs. It wouldn't be the same show without them. <laughs> and let's leave it there. 